Hello everyone, welcome back to The Last Cube, where we are here on the last of the orange challenges. Orange 3, the Stoic Ridge. Complete the level while never having more than one of each sticker on you. I have no idea how difficult this may or may not be, but we will soon find out. Oh yeah, a lot of this looking very familiar. I remember coming through here hunting... Um... What's the word? Secrets? Relics? That's it. Remember coming through here hunting relics not too long ago. If we stand up right there, we can go over and fetch that. So we still have one of each color on us. We can't ever have two of each color. So we can walk over here. Pick up an orange. Then we can come down here, pick up a yellow. Then we teleport across the gap with our purple. That gets us back up here. If you could get the spikes back up, we can waltz across here. Then we need yellow face up here somehow. Yeah, this isn't what I wanted, is it? Because we can't do that, but can we? That'll do. Then teleport across here. Put down the orange. Get rid of our stickers. And so far, so good. Right, now we have this long round and about thing where we have to work with freezing and unfreezing the water. Now we have water instead of ice. Now I have to remember how we go about doing all of this. I can't take the red all the way over there. And if we do this here, that brings that down, but on a very, very short timer. So what we need is green to be on there while we're over the other side. Now we can walk back with this, which is good. But how are we going to get the green back over here? does the orange do for okay now we can walk back one thing at a time now we can put orange down here and with that done we can presumably do something else um, well that wipes us off That puts that up there. We can bring green over this side now. There's one of those. And there's one of those. So then, if we... Where do we... We need green to create a clone so we can get over this gap really quickly. Question is, how do we do that again? I think we do this. And I need the cross hatches on the exact opposite side of green. obviously going to be really annoying to get exactly where I need to be but there it is so now we can go back with the cross hatches
stand on here. Send green. Oh no. If I cancel that now, is that going to ruin the puzzle? It is. Ah. How do we do that then without with green stepping off? Oh man, that's not how my brain thinks I go about solving this puzzle. Unless there is a whole other solution. Right, step one. Get rid of that. Then pick this up. Walk it back. Yeah, we're going to have to think really carefully about how we go about doing that last bit with the green stepping off of itself. Right now, refreeze that. Do the return trip. The E help always goes to the tile that is closest to the camera when you've got two different ones to select between. Right, then we did this and this. Not really sure how this helps me directly yet, but I'm sure we will figure that out soon. Should I have done a yellow as well? Probably. It appears that the game doesn't care when it's the other cube rather than... Oh no, those, those were two different faces, weren't they? Of course they were. Right. So, if I have any cube with green up, and then I step forward, we basically can't use green's power. Is that right? Because if we have green on top and we step over... Oh, if they have a different face on the side, they will swap rather than clone. That's probably it, isn't it? So, if I grab this red here and these two touch, rather than both of them becoming red or green, they swap. That's probably what we've got to utilize to get this done. So what do I want where? I probably want red on one side, green next to the red, and orange on the opposite side of the green. Yellow on the opposite side of the green. So now we can walk that back. We step here. Although we probably want the orange facing forward. Can we do that? With great difficulty. There we go. So that's down, we create a green, and the green and the orange will swap rather than clone. No, that hasn't worked. This is all going wrong. Right, get that red off. Give me, oh God, right, I need to get rid of a green. We can do this, get rid of this green, right? Then I need to swap that green off with this yellow before we leave. I think I got away with it, you know? And give me that, put that down. 
there. Oh, I... No, I had... Oh, I had orange on the bottom. God damn it. This is a tricky one. You've really got to plan ahead on this one. Right. There's that done. Then we grab this. Waltz back. Grab one of those. Waltz back again. And there's another puzzle after this and all. Right. That's done. Hop over here. Grab one of these. Oh, no, wait. Do we need it to be ice first? Done myself a big confuse. Right, that's now ice. That's wiped off. up a yellow coming through right, what do I want where there's a green there's the other. And so on that other one we're going to have yellow face down. We can't have green on the front and green on the top, can we? Because we can't swap it out for red if we do that. What I can't do is stand here, make a clone, and send the clone all the way to the back. Because if I do that, it'd have to go through water because we can't slide on ice in that direction. Right? So then how do we do it? make all this water I don't think that helps me because if I'm on the far side I need my fresh cube to go really fast so we'll pick up a yellow and a green right we have one of each right now from here if I do this that's the wrong colour up for a start oh wait I'm dumb I think I think I'm dumb because look if I do this right first of all Make that be that. Have I been going about this wrong the entire time? If I do that, I can make a clone on top of me, but as soon as they drop off, they will have two greens. Right? So, instead of having them drop off, what if 
If I wash everything off of this that isn't green. Right? Then I create a new cube from here and step off in that direction. Is that the trick? Now, we do this. Get rid of that. Step over here. Grab one of those. I think that's the trick. I could be wrong. There could be other ways to do it. But I'm happy with the solution I found. We're going to step to there. We're going to jaunt over. We're going to come to there. Going to do that. And we're going to be on our way. Right. Here. One of you. I missed it. Missed the timing. Thank you. Right. Then we're going to lose that as we go across, but that's fine because we're going to get one of those. Do the whole thing in reverse with teleportation. Put that face down. Then teleport over the gap. Tiny elevator ride. And this bit, I believe, is simple enough. And there's the exit. So, one face for me. Now, it's always the cube that you control. So, one face for you. One face for you. Let's get you out of the way there. You can hop over across here. Now, we're going to have to be very careful climbing up this stack to not share too many faces. Which is going to be a hoot, I'm sure. So, we need... Oh, God. I need you just out of the way for now. I need that to be there. Then this one's going to send them up and they're going to stand upright so that when this one has its face face up. Ah, oh, no, that's wrong. Okay, hold on. You come out of there. I need this guy to have his face, the black face we're staring at, be the one with the pattern on it. Because I need them to have, like, kissing faces, basically. But then, to take a step over, I need to have it face down on that tile, right? doing uh, we have to use these two guys as stepping stones without sharing their faces more than necessary so that's going to be 
like that. Oh god. <laughs> okay. You match faces with that. Then you need to have a black face up. Like that. You come to here. Then you need to have black faces up as well. Oh god, okay, right. Then we need a purple face to do that and come back. Now we need to ride the edge of the other two. So these guys need to retreat back to the other part of the level. I really see how that one could hang you up, though. I'm glad I saw the uh, the code in the matrix while solving that bit. Otherwise, that would have been extra tricky. There's also, I think, an achievement for getting three black cubes stacked on top of one another, which I assume you have to do in that level there with the elevator. So let's just do... Ah, oh, no, I don't want to do the whole thing again. We'll do that. We'll re revisit that later. But for now, that is all of orange done. So for now, that is going to be it. Let's see about getting over to where yellow starts. We can ride the ice. That's no bother. Unless this guy's going to get in our way. They are not. Now, do we have the face we need? We do. We can waltz over here. And we can check out the final three challenges. So we have complete the level without ever having more than two stickers on the cube that you control. Can have at least 22 laser beams active within the same puzzle. And finish the level in under nine minutes. So join me next time. We will start on the yellow challenges and then we will clean up any other achievements and whatnot after that. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.